Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Exams Made Simple. Friends, in this video, let us see previous year questions of your Automobile Engineering second paper for your APPC and TSPSC. Right. So, the from especially simple stresses and strains, which is the topic included in your strength of materials or engineering mechanics as the case may be. So, now the combined effect of external forces acting on a body is called load. What is strain? Change in length by original length. What is stress? Load per unit area, right? Elastic limit. What is elastic limit? It is the stress at which the stress is proportional to strain. Hooke's law is followed. That is your elastic limit or the state before the material goes into the plastic state. After this, the material will go into the plastic state. Number two, the unit of force in SI units is Newton per mm square is mega Pascal. Mega Newton per mm square is equal to mega into mega that means 10 to the power of 12 that is tera Pascals and the kilo Newton per mm square kilo is equal to 10 to the power of 3 Newton per mm square is equal to mega Pascal. So, 10 to the power of 3 into 10 to the power of 6 that is 10 to the power of 9 that is giga Pascal. So, all of these are actually the units of stress in SI system. The ratio between change in volume and original volume of the body is called volumetric strain. Change in area by original area is called aerial strain. Change in length by original length is called linear strain and but change in volume by original volume is called volumetric strain ok friends let us mark this tensile strain what is tensile strain change in length by original length if the applied load is tensile compressive stress what is compressive stress it is the compressive force by the area resisting the failure shear strain it is the change in that means shear strain is equal to uh, shear uh, you can say it is that whenever a strain is applied parallel to the surface it will undergo some angular deformation or change in the shape so shear strain is shear strain is responsible for change in shape but whereas linear strain or tensile strain is responsible for change in size so here the actual answer is volumetric strain the poison's ratio for aluminum is 0.33. Friends, most of the materials are having the poison's ratio, which is the ratio of lateral strain to the linear strain approximately between 0.25 to 0.33. Right? So, here aluminum has a poison's ratio of 0 0.33. 0 0.43, 0 0.53 are ruled out. So, maximum value of a poison's ratio is 0 0.5. Uh, okay. So, 0 0.1 is very less. So, the only answer here is the poison ratio for aluminum is 0 0.33. Right. Factor of safety is defined as the ratio of. So, please go through the stress strain diagram for a ductile material. So, here uh, you can see that the highest stress is the ultimate stress from which from which you are what you call uh, uh, that necking region. There are three regions. One is the elastic region, second one is the plastic region, third one is the necking region. So, necking region starts from ultimate stress and goes up to breaking point. So, what about uh, elastic region? It is starting from yield point to ultimate tensile strength and what about uh, sorry plastic uh, region. Okay. So, what is elastic region? So, from beginning of the loading to the yield point that is called elastic region. So, factor of safety is actually it is the ultimate stress by working stress okay so ultimate stress by working stress uh, other one is not correct working stress to ultimate stress it is the reciprocal of that and breaking stress is no way coming to the picture so it is the ultimate stress to the working stress that is called fact of safety fact of safety for brittle materials is normally from 2 to 4 it will be more so probably 8 but in certain cases for the brittle materials but in certain case it is more than 15 20 also friends okay in the case of wire rope applications it will be more than probably it will be 40 50 also right so there the danger of failing of a material will result into loss of life and property so in the wire rope applications the fact of safety is probably 20s and 30s also right so here the answer is actually the first one right the internal resistance which the body offers to meet the with the load or external force is called so he is asking he is saying internal resistance that means uh, it is your uh, stress okay so offers to meet with the load 
or external force it is a resistance developed in the material per unit area this is called your stress right when a tensile compressive force acts on the body the change in length delta is given by change in length is equal to so your strain is equal to change in length by original length delta l by l what is stress load by area p by a but what is young's modulus stress by strain p by a by delta l by l so from that if you get if you get if you try to get delta l it will be equal to p l by a e where p is the applied load l is the length of the member a is the area of cross section of the member and e is the young's modulus okay friends next let us go to the next question all right the poisson's ratio for cast iron so the for cast iron the poisson's ratio is 0.27 it is less as i said just now normally most of the materials are having poisson's ratio ranging from 0.25 to 0.33 0.33 so the poisson's ratio for cast iron is 0.27 it is less than that the mild steel because it is a brittle material so 0.15 is ruled out 0.36 normally we don't see 0.33 just now we have seen it is a poisson's ratio for aluminum and for brittle material like cast iron it is 0.27 now when a bar lengthened or shortened by load it simultaneously becomes narrows or wider the ratio of this strain in the direction of width to the simul uh, simultaneous strain in the direction of the stress length is called he is simply saying that it is the lateral strain to uh, longitudinal strain ratio what is this ratio it is neither the young's modulus nor the hooks ratio is something ridiculous uh, euler's ratio no poisson's ratio it is nothing but he is saying it is a lateral strain to the linear strain so this is your poisson's ratio 1 mega pascal is equal to 1 newton per mm square so he has given 1 we know that anything raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so 1 into 1 10 to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so 1 mega pascal is equal to 1 newton per mm square others are given to only confusers so 1 into 10 to the power of 0 is the correct answer that means 1 1 mega pascal is equal to 1 newton per mm square that is the correct answer dash is correct expression for poisson's ratio it is lateral strain to the longitudinal strain so there is no question of any stress in case of poisson's ratio friends so you can simply eliminate c and d but a is just a reverse of the lateral strain to the longitudinal strain so your correct answer is b so first one is reciprocal of the poisson's ratio longitudinal strain to the lateral strain now hooke's law holds good up to so your hooke's law it is going to hold up to plastic limit breaking point no it is not going to be applicable up to breaking point yield point elastic limit plastic limit right so till plastic limit actually it should be elastic limit friends so plastic limit no hooks law holds good up to elastic limit within the elastic limit we know that stress is directly proportional to strain so hooks law holds good up to elastic limit right so now the dimensions of young's modulus so let us let us mark the answer elastic limit now the dimensions of young's modulus of elasticity are so you know that young's modulus is equal to stress by strain strain doesn't have any units stress units are load by unit area load is equal to nothing but your force force units are mass into acceleration mass is equal to m acceleration units are dimensions are l into t to the power of minus 2 so ml t to the power of minus 2 by l square what is the area l square the dimensions of area are l square so ml inverse t minus 2 that is the correct answer ml inverse t minus 2 so c is the correct answer so here plus 2 and minus 2 he is confusing so definitely uh, first and second are not correct so now the question between it is a question between d and c so it is uh, in the d it is l to the power of 1 but actually we have got it m l inverse t to the power of minus 2 the correct dimensions of young's modulus are m l inverse t to the power of minus 
modulus of rigidity is defined as so it is a shear st uh, stress to shear strain ratio shear stress to shear strain ratio so the second one is the reciprocal of uh, modulus of rigidity or also it is also called shear modulus normal stress to normal strain it is nothing but your young's modulus right so normal stress to normal strain to normal stress it is not going to come into the picture it is a reciprocal of the third option so the correct answer is shear stress to shear strain modulus of rigidity is also called as shear modulus the relationship between modulus of elasticity bulk modulus and poisson's ratio is so here friends it is a printing mistake actually e is equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu okay so first one is 1 plus 2 mu wrong answer by in the second option it is by no in the third option it is once again by but he has given k is equal to 3 okay actually it should be fourth option e is equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu so please make it correction and d is the correct answer e is equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu fact of safety is defined as what is fact of safety it is defined as ultimate stress to the permissible stress permissible stress is also called as working stress so it is also called allowable stress permissible stress or safe stress it is also called as safe stress also so the fact of safety is equal to ultimate stress by working stress it will be always more than one right so no yield stress is not going to come into the picture right only working stress working stress is also called permissible stress right so the correct answer is ultimate stress to the permissible stress right dash is a measure of the ability of a material to absorb energy up to fracture this is the toughness right fab what is fatigue it is the ability of the material so normally whenever the uh, members are loaded in cyclic loading okay that means tensile and compressive uh, alternately a material is going to fail at a stress which is much below the yield point that particular nature is called fatigue and what is creep it is a time temp time dependent temperature thermal deformation permanent this is called your creep what is hardness it is the resistance to scratch of a body is called the hardness there are various scales bricker hardness uh, Brinell's hardness sorry Vickers hardness all, all those uh, scales are there but what is toughness it is the actually this is going to give a measure of the ability of a material to absorb energy up to fracture fracture is nothing but your breaking point so area under the your stress strain curve is going to give the toughness so the correct answer is the C okay friends in this video we have seen some good questions out of your simple stresses and strains from your strength of material topics for you are APPSC and TSPSC. In the next video, let us meet with some another topic with good questions which are important from your examination point of view, atom engineering, EMVI, APPSC or TSPSC. Let us meet once again friends. See you all.